Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're checking out a Fire Mage build known as Flame On with a Mystic Enchant. Here your damaging Fireball Scorch Flame Strike grants you a stack of Flame On up to three stacks. It's going to increase your damage by 40% or 15 for players up to three times. As well as your crit chance with Fire Blast and Meteor is going to be increased by 15%. And then I have a couple other fire things here and there. Fired Up is pretty good. We got Scorch Earth. This is, I think is very pivotal, especially for PvP. You can basically just move while Scorching. Uh, we got some Pendulum just for some extra mana. We got some Crit for Fire. That's three of those guys. We got some reduced cost of fire abilities and physical. We're not really using physical much, but fire is nice. We got some extra crit here for a lot of our fire abilities. Uh, Dream State's really good for a lot of casters. It's great for the mana regen. I don't really see myself losing mana as much as I used to. Uh, not even close with this guy, especially three stacks of that. And then we have spell impact, a little bit extra damage there. And then we're going to go check out some of the abilities here. Main ability is going to be Scorched Earth, uh, which is the Mystic Enchant. We're going to use Flame Blast a lot. Uh, Pyro Blast is really good as well. We have Living Bomb, just has some extra damage, especially if there's a lot. And then we have Meteor and Flame Strike. Those are going to be the main synergy that we have here. We also have Dragon's Breath, which is really good. And then the main thing that puts a lot of these together with our Mystic Enchant here is going to be the Hot Streak here. So this basically, anytime you get two crits in a row using Fireball, fire a lot of fire abilities here, uh, you have a 100% chance for your Pyro Blast to be instant cast. Uh, to do 40% more damage to monsters, so it's not as good as getting players, but still really strong uh, instant py pyro blast there. And then mana is 50% less, so that's nice because uh, 365 that adds up pretty quick, especially if it's instant. Uh, we have fire starter here, so this is really good with dragon's breath and our meteor. So basically, you hit with your blast wave, which we didn't really opt for, but we got dragon's breath and meteor. You hit with that, you get a free flame strike, and it's instant too, which is awesome. A um, couple other things here and there. Uh, mainly going to be focusing on crit and then fire damage here. I got a little bit of intellect mostly. A lot of uh, just random buffs to that. And then a couple of random buffs and some burst stuff here. So other than that, the uh, main thing that we're focusing on here is crit. So I went with a lot of the crit gear here. Uh, this is all pretty, pretty much PvP gear. I socketed spell power and resilience for PvP. Um, and even this gear or just... This build in general against like Mana Storm and stuff like that is insane. Um, I still have this have to replace, but I was also doing some heroics and we were just mopping through everybody. Um, other than that, we got a bunch of buffs here. Brilliance, uh, Mark of the Wild, Kings, and Fortitude. Went with the Flame Tongue weapon for the extra crit and then the Molten Armor. And then Fell Armor for a little bit of extra there. Uh, we went with the Combustion, the Arcane Power, and Icy Veins for a little bit of a burst. Um, Combustion is usually really good because we have some abilities that reduce the cooldown there. Um, we got some Conjure Water, uh, Viper, which is great if you're running around. That just throw that on while you're mount up, and then when you get off, just un undo it. Uh, Brilliant Aura and Innervate for instant mana, and then we have some healing stuff. So we got Flourish, uh, we got Healing Touch and Flash, and then we have just some CC stuff for PvP, uh, Blink, Disengage, and Nova mainly. Uh, we got the Slow, and then other than that, we just have a couple little things: Bark Skin, uh, Sprint, stuff like that, and then. I'll show you a little bit of the rotation. So I usually use Scorch. It seems to be a little bit better because it's faster. Plus you can use it while moving. I try to use the Fireball. The Fireball is nice, but you do a little bit more damage consistently with Scorch. Uh, the Fireball has a dot, which is nice. But we have all of our abilities with a dot here. Uh, oh, let's see. The Ignite here. So do an extra bunch of damage. And then this is important for PvP, the 40% less healing. So that's really good. Um, but yeah, basically, if you want to play with the Living Bomb, sometimes it's not worth the extra second or two it takes to cast, but not bad. We'll apply that, and that one missed. I noticed this misses a lot, too. And then basically, we roll up Scorch. We just get one stack, two stack, three stacks of Flame on. We'll hit the Fire Blast. It does a huge crit. We didn't get the Pyro Blast. That's okay. Uh, we'll keep doing the Scorch. We'll hit the uh, Living Bomb again. There we go, hit the Fire Blast, and then we actually got this before the Fire Blast. We got the Hot Streak. So now our Pyro is instant. It's going to do a nice nice chunk there, and then we basically keep that rotate up. We'll randomly get procs of the Pyro Blast, and we'll just drop that as soon as it comes down. We can keep the Living Bomb up for some extra damage, especially for the AoE. And then basically, that's the rotation. Um, if you're, see, that's an 8, 8k Fire Blast right there, instant. If you're facing a lot of mobs or players or anything like that, you're going to want to rotate your meter in and out. So you hit that. 
It takes a second to drop down, so you might have to plan it. And that will drop the fire starter. So then you no mana, insta cast, and 30% more damage with your flame strike. You just pop that down. And that's usually huge when there's a lot of mobs or a lot of players or anything like that. Um, one caveat I notice if you're not getting any procs, see how here I have three stacks, but my flame blast isn't ready. You just kind of have to wait for that. Or if it misses, you're kind of screwed. That's usually when I use meteor, because then I don't have to worry about wasting it. Um, other than that, you could just do another stack of uh, Scorch to keep it up before it expires. There we go. And then basically, you just cycle through those. Uh, in PvP, it's pretty easy. You can run around with the Scorch, which is nice. You don't have to worry about uh, getting locked or somebody just meleeing you to death. Um, and then also, it's really good in those big battlegrounds. But yeah, other than that, it's uh, pretty consistent. Um, the Living Bomb, sometimes just the extra second it takes. I know it doesn't sound like much. Kind of drops your uh, DPS, but... In a AoE, it's really good because it's going to blow up whether the mob dies or whether its timer ticks off. And it does a lot of damage. So a little bit over 2.5. I think I'm usually around like 3,000 for the DPS. And one of the nicest thing about this, because like casters are usually fun, but having to stay still all the time kind of sucks. So being able to move the Scorch, I think, adds a lot to this class here. And then a lot of these abilities will start to uh, tick away at the timer of the combustion, so we can rock that back up as soon as it's ready. Um, this guy is also a Elite 73, so that's why we're missing a little bit here. I know sometimes the uh, dummies are a little bit weird with the uh, hitting hit rate. We have a pretty good hit rate, though. I'll show you the crit as well. So we're sitting at high 3,000, so almost 4,000 here, depending on what kind of procs we get, as well as our... Uh, buffs and uh, the cooldowns that we have. For the most part, it's pretty consistent. As you get better gear, you'll notice it gets a lot better with the crit um, and then the consistency with some of the abilities here. Uh, and when you're facing things at your level or lower, uh, you don't have to worry about as much the missing. All right, let's take a look here. Um, let's see, we have mainly intellect, of course, because we're the caster. Uh, we have pretty much all PvP power. And then scroll down, we have, let's see, only 43% of base rating, but a lot of that doesn't have to do with our fire. So fire is at 55 baseline, plus all the bonuses that we have just for these certain abilities. So I uh, like this is a 10% bonus. We got some other stuff here and there, and that all kind of adds up. Um, and then depending on what kind of weapons and stuff you pick, some of the weapons give you different benefits, more intellect, more crit. I mainly try to stick with the crit the most, but... Other than that, I'll swap in some footage here from some battlegrounds. I think we did Dungeon or two. Uh, show you how the class plays and the amount of damage we can do with multiple enemies and all that good stuff. Hey, if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to follow for some more, hit the subscribe. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.